Good morning, Reefers. I'm Daniel, and today I have a whole bunch of food that I'll be feeding the corals. I just wanted to get a quick picture to show you guys before I put them away. These are frozen foods, so you do not want to leave them out. Um, but I just wanted to show you, I have some phytoplankton right here that I got from the phyto tank that I just made. Um, so anyway, I gotta run, someone's at the, I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back and I got the phyto tank uh, resituated, refilled, and I did feed it the fertilizer to keep it going. So that thing comes in handy. All right, so this is the bag after I exchange it too. You can see how any place there's no circulation where the water's not moving, the phyto kind of just clumps up in the bottom. So you constantly need that water moving. That's why we use the bubbler, um, not just for the oxygenation, oxygenation, but to help keep the water moving. So, and the micro bubbles actually collected to the phyto, would bring it to the top, the bubbles wouldn't pop, and they would actually dry out and die. So the micro bubbles were actually bad for that. So it's kind of cool to learn something like that. Um, but anyway, so back to the feeding the corals. Um, I use all kinds of food. I just added some frozen food in here, some cubes as a treat for the corals and fish because they're meaty. Um, these are all like freeze dried stuff, which is really good to feed your corals. I mean, vitamins, nutrients, kind of just like drinking a protein shake for us, but really important that you feed your corals. So. I put, always make a mixture concoction. It's a little bit of everything. I do get a lot of samples of different coral foods to try out. So I'm not just biased to one, but I do like a little bit of everything. So I'll just go around and squirt it. Um, I did slow down the return pump so I don't waste the food by just pumping out the water. But I did keep the currents on so the current in the pumps inside the tank will keep circulating the water so all the corals have time to collect the food that they need um, without the water just turning over and going back to the sump to be filtered out or to go through the carbon reactor or something. So that's one reason why you want to turn off your skimmer when you're feeding. So just good practice. But the fish go crazy. They love, they love feeding time. The corals, you will see um, the tentacles start to come out. Especially if you start feeding regularly, the corals will get used to it and you'll notice a big difference. So, just a quick video guys. It's Friday. Everyone have a great day. Um, please subscribe if you haven't already. Um, hit the like button. Share a video with a friend. I keep doing this every day. Trying to bring you guys the best information, updates on reefing. Teach you guys about new equipment. RODI systems, filtration, salt mixes, um, what you need to have a successful reef. So there's so many things that are involved. Um, yes, you can have a successful reef without feeding your corals, but it just depends on the type of corals you have. So also I'm gonna get into the filtration and the filter socks in a minute, just to tell you guys a little bit more about that. Um, when you're feeding, you know, if you have filter socks, it will pick up everything that goes through the drain. So sometimes you want to take them off so that food can get recirculated without being completely um, taken out of the system. But at the same time, if it has somewhere to settle on the bottom of your tank, um, it can break down there. So if you're feeding your corals and you've got a dead spot in your sump somewhere and all that food settles and you don't have a starfish or snails or crab to eat it up, that is going to increase your phosphates when that breaks down and nitrates. So well-balanced ecosystem is like a um, science problem that you have to figure out, you know? You have to test your levels, know what you're using in your system, and over time it's really not that bad. Um, you just you figure it out and you correct for mistakes. That's one reason why I say do things slowly because it's easier to adjust than if you just throw in a super colony of acros and all of a sudden you better start dosing calcium because you got a Monty that's sucking it up. But anyway, there you guys go. Thanks again. Happy reefing as always. Until next time.